So before we get started on any of our main projects, we have some practice projects to work on that'll teach different techniques and tools that you'll end up using uh, the most or, or a lot of in Makerspace Academy. You will be saving your uh, practice projects here on the Makerspace Academy page, and then you'll need to make sure you have your own account that will save all of your own projects in the future. Uh, they are separated by main content, but you will see that there are overlaps for each of the different techniques and skills that you have. Uh, so these are specifically for grouping and duplication, alignment, and mirroring. In Tinkercad on the Makerspace Academy page, there are project samples that are here. Uh, you will not be able to ungroup them and get the answers uh, for that, so you'll need to follow along with the videos in order to learn how to do this. You will want to also make sure that you have this available, the videos, as well as your Tinkercad uh, project plane and workspace. Um, just keep them nearby in like different tabs or different windows. So let's get started with grouping and duplication. So we're just going to start a new document or new 3D design right up here. So we're going to go over to new and we're going to press 3D design right here. Okay, you'll notice that it has that weird name again. We're going to click on it to change it. And we're going to type in uh, grouping slash duplication and then underscore and we're going to put in your name underscore again and your middle initial. You can put spaces there as well. Um, either way it works just fine. Okay. And you press enter. Okay. So to make the first shape on the left, we're going to grab a cylinder from the right hand panel and just click on our work plane. Then we're going to click and we're going to set in a specific uh, set of dimensions here. So click on the uh, box here, this bounding box in the lower right hand corner, and press shift while you press it. And we're going to do uh, type in 8, tab again, and we've done this correctly because it has uh, changed it. You'll see that it still says 20 there, but if you click off of it, it'll say 8. If you don't do that, uh, and press the shift, it's okay. You can just click on this again, manually put in eight uh, as well. Since the default shapes are uh, equal in uh, length, width, and height, that means your height is also at eight. So we need to change that. And we're gonna click this box at the top and you can see that it has the up and down arrows right next to it. Click on the num number and then manually type in, we're gonna do 68 right here and enter. Okay, so we're going to add the little spheres to that that are going to go uh, down the cylinder shape. And this first shape is to show the uh, skill of copying. So click on your sphere over here and just click anywhere on your work plane. Uh, be kind of close to it if you can help it. And then we're going to highlight both by clicking outside of both shapes and doing that imaginary red line uh, box that'll highlight both. And you know, that, you know you've done that correctly because up here on the right, it'll say shapes and then have two in parentheses. So we're also going to click align while we're over here and press the center one to line them up on the left side and then the center one uh, and the front to line them up together and finally the center, the one at the very top as well. And this is what we have for our first shape. Now, uh, you're also uh, going to note that, uh, we're going to zoom in a little bit, that these shapes are actually mathematical. So you may want something to go in a specific location, but the reality is, is that um, the shapes work on a mathematical constant. So it's actually at the very top point of your sphere, that itty bitty top right there. And if you would want it to look a little differently, but we don't need that for this project, 
um, you could just move it up and that would enclose that shape. Uh, again, everything that you see on your uh, 3D file is going to be seen and printed with 3D printers. So you don't, you want to make sure that everything you do is intentional. And we're just going to navigate a little bit so that we can have it, um, we can see it a little better. And then we're going to click on our sphere again. So for copying, that is Command or Control C. And we're just going to do Command C and then Command V and that pastes it. It doesn't go anywhere in particular, it just goes right next to the shape. We're going to lower this down by pressing on this top arrow right here until it moves down a little bit. And then we're going to copy Command C again, Command V again, move it down. And we're going to move this down a little bit under the work plane. And you'll see why in a second. So we're going to also uh, center these pieces as well. So we're going to want to, uh, let's highlight all three of these pieces. So this is the top ball here, the center one here, and then this ro uh, the rod or cylinder here. And we're going to align those all together. And the reason why we're doing that is there's another way to specifically align it. Um, and we'll see that in the mirroring exercise, but this is a simpler way um, to align these all together. And we're just going to do that like so. And you don't want to center this because it's going to center all three of the balls, all those three of the spheres together. And we don't want that to happen. So then we're going to highlight all of them again with a red dotted line uh, box like so. And you know, they've done that correctly because you have your shapes and it says four now. And then we're going to align it one more time. And the reason why we're doing that, uh, this one lower, is so that it actually encompasses the end of the cylinder here. Okay. So if you don't like the side of that, you can highlight both of these two in the center. Again, with your trusty red box, you will use this quite often, like so. And then highlight. And then we're going to do a line and center here. I hope I'm not going too fast in these. Uh, sometimes it's instinctual and I'm trying to remember that I am teaching to learn. Okay, so then we have, we're going to put a, a hole in the center of all this. Um, so all the way through. So now we are going to use um, duplicate for the first time in order to make our hole in the center. So we have our cylinder here. I tweaked it just a sec in the edit. And we're going to get it back up to 67, 68. And we're going to rotate that out. Okay. So we are going to duplicate that. And the reason why you want to duplicate versus copy is that, as I said, with the copy, it has an arbitrary location. It just goes right next to it. And we don't want that to happen. We want it to go exactly where it is. So duplicating essentially copies and pastes it right in place, but it also has an added feature, which we'll see in the second shape. So we're going to, we've already duplicated that, I believe. Yes, we have. So we're going to click on one of these and we're going to make it a little bit taller. And then we're going to do a little bit of a resizing thing. So that's option shift. And we're just going to make it a little bit smaller. Oh, he's doing it both at the same time. What's going on? Mm -mm -mm. Ah, I undid the duplication. Okay, one more time. Okay, and shift, option shift, drag it now. Yep, yeah, doing that correctly now. And so that has the uh, eight and eight. You can manually input that if you'd like, but it's a little bit easier to drag it. Uh, this, again, is key. Uh, you'll notice in the lower right-hand corner, your snap grid. Uh, we have we are not changing that uh, for this, for the grouping and duplication project, just for ease and of use. So then we're going to uh, make sure that your shape is still selected. And we're going to drag it all the way up until it's just taller. And turn that into a hole. Uh, right over in the upper right. Uh, from solid to whole and you've done that correctly because it's now gray and it's got the stripes going through it 
and then again click and drag over all of that and you have five shapes and that's one two three four five and then group that like so now i didn't do that correctly because there should be a hole at the bottom so we're going to undo that for just a sec and the reason why that didn't happen is because when it got resized it actually was not at the bottom there so as a double as a precaution press d on your whole shape and then we're going to call highlight and group this whole thing together like so and now your holes at the bottom so that should go all the way through if you're on top there you can see the hole at the top as well and i'm going to recolor this because you're going to get a little confusing because uh, all the colors just stay the default of whatever the shape is there and we're going to drag it and move it over and now you've completed your first shape.